Welcome. This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate. And after my last Giga Semi flight, I decided to check in on the um, LFP battery factory. For context and background, this LFP battery plant is um, adjacent catty corner from the uh, pilot production semi line at 550 Milan. I believe the address is 385. Yep, 385 Milan, right on cue. And um, this is a line that was originally purchased from CATL. And they are standing it up here in um, Nevada. Not far, as you'll see at the end of this video, from the um, original Gigafactory 1 and from Giga Semi. And uh, like I said, catty corner from the uh, 5, 550 Milan pilot semi-production plant. And um, I also took paid a visit to there. Extremely busy outside of this. Unlike the um, Giga Semi plant, much of this looks to be permanent, um, where they're utilizing the exterior of the building for permanent equipment for building this um, um, LFP, which stands for lithium iron phosphate, a, um, a different battery, battery chemistry currently being used for um, the use case would be for stationary storage. I believe Optimus will also use this battery. Um, you can see a few uh, workers crossing who had left the facility. I believe it was for a 20 minute after four break and uh, tongue in cheek. And that looks like a, uh, a food truck trailer. Can you imagine having that contract? Anyways, as you can see, much of this stuff on the exterior is indeed uh, per looks to be permanent. All these tanks, that's permanent. A massive amount of chillers and piping and um, to bring the, uh, the uh, liquid or um, air that they're cooling to the chillers and then return them. Look at this with a... Uh, a little stack which will probably um, emanate steam all kinds of HVAC equipment built into the um, roof that we're seeing um, now the stuff on the right that is probably gonna go that is you know um, production equipment yet to be installed racking and I don't recognize anything else there's a lot of HVAC equipment right there. Tubing, piping, and they've even stacked shipping containers. Uh, that's one of the entrances. And by the way, I believe all security vehicles at Giga Nevada are now cyber trucks. They're finding, they're putting them to use, which sadly is a result of actually fairly low sales and I would love to see them put a standard body on that truck and watch sales explode. Some people agree, some people don't agree. I, I, I think it's unimpeachable that, that the specs of that vehicle with a standard looking truck body would um, dominate the EV truck segment. Look at how busy this place is. Again, this is the LFP factory. Um, I thinking about what they bought from CATL. I wouldn't be surprised to see them. I'm not sure what the capacity of that line is or was, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them clone that line and um, not in this building clone that production line and double or triple it, and then, once that's dialed in, grow to um, another another building, either here in Nevada, probably, because um, its power is inexpensive in Nevada, which is why all the, a large number of AI companies are coming here. Okay, so anyway, back to the, back to the video. We are now leaving the LFP battery factory. We just drove over the pilot production line, and now we're coming to Gigafactory 1, I mean Gigasemi, 
um, the the main core of my of my um, coverage, and then the original uh, Gigafactory one in the background, the pi the um, original Gigafactory that is shared co-located with Panasonic. Panasonic builds battery cells on the right, and then they hand them off to. Uh, to Tesla who puts them in in a uh, vehicle packs there's the big dog Tesla semi and that is water vapor I asked I asked Grok what is going on because that is using because that is constantly um, emanating um, white smoke which indicates that it's just uh, steam a look around at all of the um, fulfillment centers and industrial buildings in the area and um, I forgive you if at the end of this video you uh, you uh, don't watch it to the end the very end is me attempting successfully to return the drone to the um, takeoff point without using the automated return to home feature I've decided to start practicing in it um, and pretty successfully. So this is the, um, to the left is uh, the first of the Milan twin um, factories that were put up quite quickly. They are um, similar to most of the industrial buildings in the area and um, remains to be seen if that will be leased by Tesla. And then once they get done with that one, I imagine they'll start here and I'll, and I'll have to uh, find a new drone uh, takeoff location. Thank you very much for joining and um, see you next time.